guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, the 602 Sensei Mod ROM. Uh, it's developed by Mobile Sensei, who is a themer extraordinaire. Um, the best part about this new ROM that I'm going to show you guys today is that it includes uh, some scripts by Jake Bytes, and uh, those tweaks are excellent for battery saving. Uh, one thing that it does is it um, overclocks on boot and undervolts on boot. That undervolt on boot is going to help drastically save some battery life, and it also um, underclocks down to 300 gigahertz. I'm sorry, 300 megahertz whenever your phone is in sleep mode or turned off. So it has really saved a lot of battery life, even better than Shuji 2.1 in my experiences. I've had limited time to test this about a day and a half here. Uh, but I just want to show you, even before we get into the install tutorial and the quick review, I just want to show you my battery life that I've gotten on this ROM. Uh, so let me go into settings. And applications, battery use, and I don't know if you can see there, 19 hours and 52 minutes, and I still have about 15% uh, on my battery there. So that's incredible, incredible battery life, and that's with pretty moderate use. Um, this phone stays on pretty much all day, so really not bad at all. That's incredible. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll jump into the install tutorial. Uh, you need to be coming from stock 602. You need to be rooted. Uh, or either you can come, this is version 2 that we're looking at here. You can come from version 1. Uh, in order to install this ROM, like I said, stock point six zero two. If you don't know how to get there, check out my channel. I have tutorials on how to get there. You can either SPF back to Froyo, then accept the over-the-air update to 602 which is the latest version from Verizon um, or you can install the pre-rooted 602 I have tutorials on how to do both of those um, once you have 602 and you're rooted install Droid 2 Bootstrapper and we'll go ahead and open up Droid 2 Bootstrap Okay, and once you're in Droid 2 Bootstrap, which is even themed, go ahead and click Bootstrap Recovery. And then OK. And then click Reboot Recovery. Okay, and standard procedures for installing this ROM. If you've already uh, installed ROMs in the past, then you probably don't even have to watch this. You can skip to the quick review. Uh, but if you're new to this, then continue watching. Once you're in recovery, go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Select that. The way we're going through this menu is up and down. Select this camera, and back is to go back. Uh, so you go to wipe data factory reset select that and go down to yes delete all user data and I'm not going to do that now because I already have this installed and then we're going to go to wipe cache and go down to yes wipe cache and select that I'm going to go ahead and go back and then you're going to want to go to install zip from SD card Actually, you can go to Advanced, and go to Wipe Dalvik Cache, select that, and then yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache, and then you go to, go back, and go to Install Zip from SD Card, select that. Go to choose zip from SD card. And if you've downloaded it directly to your phone, it should be in the download folder. So navigate to SD card download. You can get this ROM from the link in the description. Just downloaded it 
uh, download it directly to your phone. You're looking for SSM-602 version 2.zip. You'll select that and install. You'll select that. It'll take about five minutes. And when you're finished, go back and click Reboot System. And as soon as this boots back up, we'll have a quick review. One thing that I wanted to show you is it does come with the uh, Droid Bionic boot animation, which I thought was pretty cool. And it boots up very quickly. Uh, not on first boot. Of course, the first boot's going to take about uh, several minutes, up to five minutes. So don't freak out. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice here is you've got the AOSP launcher and it's telling me that I'm at 10% so I better hurry um, and also your you have launcher 2 is the launcher that comes stock with it you can make some changes to your launcher by pressing settings and launcher options you can change the number of icons at the bottom either 2 or 4 and you can change the style uh, you can go to Froyo style and then you can also change uh, the hot seat background I have it on gingerbread. You can also go black, transparent, or froyo. Uh, we'll just change it to black to show you what it does. And see, there's the change that it made. Um, okay, I'll show you guys what's included with this ROM. You have several apps that are included. Uh, Droid 2 Bootstrapper is included. All your applications here are themed. Um, this thing has kind of a stock theme to it with... Uh, the gingerbread elements. So like your Google search app is themed, market is themed, you have ROM toolbox that it is included with and also this Tesla LED uh, flashlight is included with the ROM. If you've never seen J. Rummy's ROM toolbox, we'll run through it real quick. Um, the first thing that I'll show you here is you have options to back up your ROM and you can also wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik cache and battery stats all from this toolbox. You don't have to boot into Clockwork in order to do those. We'll give it super user permission. Uh, you have app management here as well. Kind of like titanium backup. Okay, it's about to die on us here. Um, you have CPU settings here. Uh, let's see. You can manage boot animations, block ads, fix permissions, spare parts is here as well, and you can change your battery icon there. Um, see, I should probably turn that light off. Okay, that would save some battery. Um, so you see there's not too much customization here, uh, but Mobile Sensei is known for his awesome themes. Uh, so be on the lookout. Head over to the link in the description uh, where you can get this ROM and all the themes that go with this ROM, I'll keep it updated. Uh, also, check out Mobile Sensei, the developer on Twitter. He's at Mobile Sensei. And check me out on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. Also, check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X. And now we cover the Bionic as well. Uh, so you want to make sure to check out my Bionic page, DroidModerX.com backslash Bionic. And we will cover devices as they come out. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day. Intoxicated world, boys and girls, they'll meet